Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer and we're doing our series is our final day today looking at the people God used throughout the Bible many of them are unlikely choices today we're going to think of Lazarus together who is dead and buried our key verse today is taken from John chapter 11 it's verses 14 and 15 so then he Jesus told them plainly Lazarus is dead and for your sake I'm glad I was not there so that you may believe but let's go to him over the past month we have considered many of the people together whom God used throughout the Bible. We have seen that many of them were unlikely choices and we could continue to look at many others. But hopefully this has been a great encouragement to you. But God still uses the unlikely and desires to use your life for his glory. Today we are going to finish the series by considering the most unlikely of all people for God to use. Whatever obstacle you may think is hindering you from being used by God, they fall into insignificance compared to Lazarus. He was dead. Jesus would often visit Mary, Martha and Lazarus at their home on the Mount of Olives. In Luke 10 we have the scene where Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made, but Mary was spending time listening to Jesus. Clearly Jesus had a close relationship with his family because also in John 11 verse 3, the sister sent word to Jesus, and Lord the one you love is sick. Jesus loved his family. The family had hoped that Jesus would rush back and heal Lazarus, but Jesus kept in tune with his father's perfect timing. When he arrives at their house, Mary and Martha are in mourning and Lazarus is dead and buried. In John 11:39, we read, Take away the stone, he, Jesus, said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad order, for he has already been dead for four days. Lazarus has been dead for four days. His body has already started to decompose and the order is soaking out from behind the stone. Can you think of anybody less likely to be used? by God. There's probably very few people reading this or listening to this that have actually experienced physical death. But the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2 verse 1 that we all were dead in our transgressions and sins. Romans 5 12 continues, Therefore just as sin entered the world through one man, death through sin, in our way death came to all people because all have sinned. We may not have experienced physical death, but spiritually each one of us was dead because of our transgressions and our sins. We were separate from God and as useful as a decomposing corpse. As Lazarus' his sisters mourned, Jesus spoke these beautiful words. In John 11, 25-26, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus walks over to the grave and tells them to move the stone. And when he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face and Jesus said to them take off the grave clothes and let him go the very next verse John 11:45 says therefore many of the Jews who came to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him in the following chapter we read in John 12 verse 9 to 11 meanwhile a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came not only because of him but also to see Lazarus whom he had raised from the dead so the chief priests made plans also to kill Lazarus as well. For on account of him, many of the Jews were going over to Jesus and believing in him. Lazarus was dead in the grave, but two words from Jesus and he came back to life and brings many souls into the kingdom. The people wanted to see the man who had moved from death to life and today people still want to meet people who have encountered resurrection power. If you are a believer today, this is also your testimony. God has taken you from death to life. We are alive by Christ's resurrection power. And our testimony should be evident for all to see. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you that you've taken our lives from death and moved us into life. Father, we thank you for the resurrection power that you showed not only for Lazarus, but also for us. Father, we realize that our sins, our transgressions separated us from you and we were dead in them. But now we are alive in Christ, that we have eternal life in him. Lord, help lend our testimony to be evident to those around us. That as people came to see Lazarus, to see somebody who had moved between death to life, that people will also be eager to learn how they can have life as we share how we've experienced eternal life in you. Father, we thank you for all the people we've seen in this series over the past 31 days. Father, we thank you that you choose the unlikely. Lord, we just pray that any of us who are maybe feeling not worthy enough to be used by you, that we feel that we made too many mistakes, that we just feel that you would choose anybody but us. Lord, I just pray that today that you encourage us again. Father, we thank you that it's not about our strength, but in our weakness, your strength is made strong. In our weakness, we see that you are the one working through us. So Lord, help us to stay humble and usable to you, we pray. In Jesus' precious name, amen.